Hello guys, this is Solar Strings. I'm going to show you my sprite rotator. Uh, we're going to select an image here. We can select new para2.png. This is drawn by uh, Dan Fessler, also called Indigo. Here you can see the normal image, and we can start to rotate it. As you can see, we have very few artifacts from rotating. Uh, the image you can see on screen is uh, first scale to two times its size with scale 2x which uh, is guessing pixels and things in between to make a better sprite of it and then it, it is rotated and scaled down again so this is one of the versions and it's the only version I show you in the program but we press the S key angle 51 currently and rotated sprite has been saved you can close the program and if you check in the rotate me folder this is where you place all the stuff that you want to rotate so I have a few uh, examples here and when you have pressed the S key you get in you get the output folder here and I have three sprites here currently of the parrot we have one which is scaled to two times with uh, with scale 2x and then four times with scale 2x and eight times with scale 2x so you get three different results and I found that you get different details on the different uh, scaled down images so for example we can look here I haven't really been over these images this, this is just a uh, test to show you anyway you can see this is one of the versions everything looks pretty cool pretty okay this is the second version and this is the third version so basically you have to zoom in a lot to, to see what different images look like so we can actually open up GIMP and have a look and see what really happens on the images here this is the rotated image and we're going to zoom it in and have a look at the pixels this is a re result of uh, the 4x version We can have a look at the 2x version as well. It comes right here. See about the same place as we have in the 4x image. And we can also have a look at the 8x image here. <coughs> Usually I think 8x is producing the best the best versions. As you can see here, there's a lot of jagged things here, the jagged pixels on the cage here. But the 8x version is usually producing the best images. But sometimes uh, one of the other images might have some more details and then you can just cut, cut and paste in between the images and produce the best one which you want to keep. Okay guys, this was the short video I wanted to show you. I'm going to post this on Pixelation and on Pixel Joint. And also on GameDev.se. I want to thank you very much for having a look look at the video and uh, I hope you will have you will find some use to this program.